Hello, Vortex Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War with me, Blue Ankylo. Today is our first day where we can test out the Vortex armor. Can you guess who I gave it to? <laughs> so, uh, we've got a large landed, it's got ethereals, it's got cyber discs, it's got lots of bad stuff. So, I'm taking uh, a very high ranking team, lots of master sergeants, a few gunnery sergeants, although I don't have a lot left at the moment, so. You know, the Master Sergeants, they don't get any more experience, but uh, this, they get psionic experience, if they're a psionic. And uh, we're bringing two really big mechs, because, you know. So anyway, first off, we've got Lathan leading the team. Um, I think he's a good DPS infantry. I'm pretty happy with his performance lately. We've got Reaper, who's got Rapid Fire. I don't think... Have we even used him since we had Rapid Fire? We'll see how it goes. Um, I find that Valkyries are really amazing early on with light em up, but then later on the perks kind of, I don't know, maybe I should have given them Shredder Ammo instead. Damage control just isn't that good. Maybe I should have given him Advanced Fire Control and then built him up to Sentinel later on, like, I don't know. But uh, we'll see how he does. Um, I feel like some of his late game perks aren't that great. Or at least somehow maybe the build I picked wasn't that great. Anyway, we got Reaper. We've got the mech that I really like the late game perks of. The uh, Shogun, because Absorption Field, Light em Up, Heat Ammo, you know me, those things are pretty awesome. So then we've got Darkshade, who is a medic that isn't white. Why isn't he not white? Just so that I remember I gave him the Vortex Armor, <laughs> primarily. Um, so he had a base of 70 willpower, plus 20, thanks to the Vortex. Um, he only has level 3 right now, but uh, he should be real good at Psy Panic, I have to imagine. So that's nice. Then we've got Surfius, who is our Rocketeer. Javelin Rockets means you can shoot them across the map. Um, oh, I didn't even equip you, whoops. I was like, why is your uh, mobility so bad? Sorry, let's uh, ramp that up a little bit. You know, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> but that's what you get. I can't believe I missed that. Hope I didn't miss anybody else. That'd be a pretty bad show. We got Monkey Mark, who's uh, kind of one of our aggressive scouts. Offensive. We've got Who's the Boss, one of our really good double tap gunners. I like, or double tap heat ammo gunner, that's specifically his bonus. And Kent Bannister, a double tap. Did I give him. I thought I picked the one with disabling shot. No, I picked the one with double tap vital point. Because we're fighting ethereals, I think that's like the best way to deal with an ethereal. One of the best. Long range, double tap, pretty awesome. We have visual on the mission. So I'm hoping to skip through this we're mission relatively quickly. Um, as far as you guys are concerned, I'll be spending Reports lots of time. Reports indicate UFOs set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and But, uh, the I don't really want a two-hour double episode or something. I don't want a double feature for every large landed. We've seen so many of these. Um, I don't know what episode number we're up to, but 140-something. And, uh, I've probably done at least ten of these. Thanks, at least. Maybe we're more by now. So we start on the side. Tentative one, plan. Approach with Move to the log, wait a couple turns, site is unknown. move to here, wait a couple turns, take out the back, take out the center, move along to the front of the ship, win. You can tell how far I got by when I start recording again. I'll be right back. Alright, no rest for us ankylos. Um, all I've done is move to the line and end a turn, and we got attacked by heavy floaters and ethereals. So we have a very friendly welcoming committee to deal with, and uh, I'm not in a very good position, I don't think. Um, I don't know where they all split up to... Uh, I don't even have a battle scanner. This would be a good time for a battle scanner. Um, Cause I was thinking... Potentially, we can sh we can we can shoot a shredder rocket quite a long ways thanks to uh, to javelin. Now we can see exactly how far. Like, I think this is his vision range. Although I mean, uh, there is his vision range. 
So you've added like maybe five tiles. Maybe it's the same as how squad site works for uh, for gunners and stuff. But I want to make sure that will actually hit something. Um, sniper. It's a good shot. I did steady weapon with the sniper after I moved. Um, Medic can get to the tree there. We might be able to see what's back there. You might get killed by Overwatch too. That'd be exciting. We can't... <laughs> can't see anything! It's a miracle! I think we just take the shot here. 100%. So close. So very, very close. Oh, but you've got double tap. I'd actually rather save that. Hold on. Let's just kill this guy with mine fray. There's a lot of heavy floaters. Your nightmare is just starting. Um, we'll see how that works. I want to spread out a little bit and have a bit of an overwatch line. Pretty sure Mark Spectre has advanced fire control. Yep. Um... Reposition a couple people a little bit closer. Overwatch, aye aye. You're not taking a shot. You are gonna overwatch. Eyes peeled, Commander. Gatling needs to be maybe a little bit closer. Yeah. No overwatch for the boss man yet. I mean, he's got Sentinel and stuff. It's really good, but I think he's a little bit out of range. And our medic. Yeah, you just cover everybody in smoke. They'll probably just grenade us, but uh... Oh wait, I should have moved my monkey mark in, because now I can't see. <laughs> I can't see where to put him. Well, half cover will do for now. Half cover plus smoke, right? Heading out. Overwatch, aye, aye. Okay, you can attack. Save your double tap for next turn. Oh, good, another pod. That'll probably be the cyber disc, but it didn't actually activate. So, hopefully, we can kill these ethereals quickly, and hopefully, the floaters don't like flank us and murder us. Good, solid hit. Too bad it didn't kill him. Okay, well, I mean, we took three shots. It would have been nice if we could have killed him in a single shot, but he died nonetheless. Alright, one, two, buckle my shoe, that's it. Well, I think we have to start with a shredder rocket, primarily because uh, these guys are going to take a lot of firepower. And what's tougher than an ethereal, I mean seriously. I'm going to shoot it a little bit back from them in hopes that I can hit another ethereal that's just out of vision or something. That's my line of thinking. Let's him up. We did not hit any other ones that were behind, so... Alright, so first target, kill ethereal. Plan A, kill ethereal. Sniper can't see, of course not. Almost nobody can see. Gunner can see. Not the ethereal, though. Well, I guess you're taking 79% shots. This is why we bring Master Sergeants. <laughs> For some reason, they've got the luck. Two hits at 69-79. Not gonna argue. Reaper... Could potentially move up and rapid fire. Spectre gets two shots, though, as well. Let's start with Spectre. First shot actually did one damage, but uh, he reflected it. That sucks. I think when they're shredded, that's why you can get. It's like it. It's like a rounding error. There we go. Eleven damage. That was nice. Let's uh, let's move Monkey Mark up to here. Might find the other Ethereal. Might just have to dodge a uh, reaction shot. Should be okay. 
two reaction shots. Still no no problem. Is that, you got? Is that all you got? Stop saying that, Monkey Mark. <laughs> Alright, so... I would actually prefer if you could just kill one. I think Flush should do three damage, right? So just kill Come this guy. There you go. I think that was worth it. Um, one heavy floater, one damaged ethereal, still one other ethereal somewhere. Our sniper still can't see even that guy, unfortunately. Dang it! Lythen is not close enough either. We could probably side panic the uh, heavy floater. Well, let's start with Reaper. Moving out. Okay, and let's see. Rapid fire. Two shots at 63. Or one shot at 78. I think the two shots at 63 are smarter. I think that's going to be a much better chance to kill him. And maybe you got it on the first try. That's fine. You couldn't have counted on it. You did a good shot, though. You did good damage. Alright, well, one year ethereal. Well, I managed to go down pretty quickly. I am happy about that. Darkshade's got Overwatch. Let's move him up to here. On the move. He can kind of see around that corner, and then I can move someone to his old spot. I'm on it. Like Lythen? Yeah. Like Heading Lathan. Now. I feel, Commander. And then Kent, you're like one of my rare snipers that doesn't have uh, low profile, so... I just have to keep you near the back, but hopefully with better uh, vision. I just have to hope you can shoot around this tree. Yeah, next time. Find Stay in there. Don't come out. Apparently there's a drone that's disconnected from the actual pod, so that'll probably activate them then. Especially since it's stealing all of our overwatches, that's great. Cheapskate drone stealing my overwatches? Okay, so Cyberdisk's in there. They're repositioning on us. Heavy floater comes closer. I'm taking heavy fire over here. Suppression's not that bad. Well, we can kill the drone easy enough. I kind of... Oh, that's a mega drone. That's cool. I thought it'd be a cyber disc. It's actually a super drone. That's fun. That's exciting. Chic. Alright, um... Mark, you're the guy that's got the heat ammo. So you're gonna have to deal with the super drone. I think of all the mega enemies that are in the game, the, the mega drone is probably the weakest. Because <laughs> it's just a drone. Yeah, Lythen, it's not shooting at you. You can take a couple shots. Or just one, you know. Infantry is pretty awesome, right? Let's move Monkey Mark. There's still an ethereal back here. we got to find him. It's not Let's good. Rock. I don't like it when Ethereals escape. Moving to position. They sneak up on you and flank you from bad angles. Alright, we did find him. Alright, can our sniper hit him at least? Yeah. Two shots, 100%. Come on, Kent. Do your job. Yeah, I think we're good. 84. The second shot wasn't quite as good, but it's good enough. Excellent! I think that went really smoothly. I mean, this is a, a fully upgraded team. The only thing we're missing out on is gene mods. And a couple people aren't Master Sergeants, but imagine how strong we would be if we were ever ever able to afford gene mods. That'd be awesome. Moving out. Locked and loaded. I don't think it's gonna happen. I just think it'd be awesome. Aye aye. Weapon systems ready. And we don't have to worry about the right side too much anymore. 
Alright, let's see where this mega drone goes. All the way to the door. Cool. That's a normal drone. It's another normal drone. <clears throat> I think I think he'll be okay. That did not look like a normal drone shot. What kind of laser was that? <laughs> I hope that doesn't do as much damage as I'm afraid it might. I'm being blank. <laughs> Freaking giant lasers of death. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? Alright, Mark. I'm going to have you take a single shot. It doesn't really matter who you kill. And then you're going to have to reload. But next turn, you're going to kill the big drone. And I think... Who's the boss? I mean, it's kind of a waste to use double tap on these guys. So I want him to take one shot and then let... Uh, let's say Lythen finish it off. Also, might have been better to have... Uh, our gunner, Mr. Target, um, Overwatch, because he's got Sentinel. He can take two shots. Okay, medic can stay here for now. Got it covered. Rockets can actually be flanked pretty easily, to be honest. You can just hide out over there. Moving out. And then Monkey Mark, you start heading back. Heading basically. there now. I've killed, Commander. Start heading back, Reaper. Confirmed. Shouldn't need to use your Electro Pulse yet. Eyes peeled, Commander. No Overwatch. Unfortunately, Gunners can't shoot an Overwatch. Oh, it... It's being stupid. <laughs> I was hoping the, the giant drone would come out and play, but it's, it's being dumb. They're all being dumb. You know, robots shouldn't get a fear effect where they run away like that. Alright, Mark, you know, I'm confident in your abilities. You go check it out. You check that drone out. So, a mega drone. What does a mega drone get? It gets. Hollow targeting, evasion, overload, repair, absorption fields. Absorption fields is going to be annoying. But uh, heat ammo sort of wins out. Reaper isn't quite able to get in position. Nobody is really going to get in position. Now we can fly up pretty easily. I. I I shouldn't forget about that. We always have the ability to fly further than you might expect. Probably ought to reload, right? I don't want to be flanked by the drones. So let's just hold off. We'll keep recording till this big drone's dead. But it's not... It's still just a drone, right? Like, it didn't even shoot. Are, is anybody gonna shoot? You're just gonna goof around all day. Oh, you're gonna heal the Mega Drone. That's super exciting. I wanna see them use their giant laser attack. Good, you repaired six damage out of my 11. But this time, we get to shoot twice. Come on, let's shoot. Alright, now we only get 72% because reasons. Take the shot. I think we got him. Another 72, come on. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to put a cut here and just wrap up, do a little bit of cleaning. I'll let you guys know once I run into something more exciting. I think this is just clean up. It's nothing to worry about. Be back in a little bit. Okay, so we're back and we're almost done. I uh, will give a little bit of a recap. 
We killed the drones, moved over to here, killed a bunch of thin men and a sectoid, moved in, killed a bunch of seekers, killed a couple more thin men, killed a cyber disc and a bunch of drones, and then uh, we unlocked two ethereals and a bunch of heavy floaters, and I thought, yeah, we could record this part, sure. So uh, let's figure this out. I also... there's a sectoid over there, apparently. <laughs> he may have been running away from before, I don't know for sure. So I'm wondering, possibly, if I could open with a shredder rocket. I think it's possible, but it's really fiddly. Perfect pixel. Okay, I think that'll do. Shred those guys. Bring in the pain. Come on, Surfius, don't fail me now. Good rocket, good rocket. Not a lot of damage, but a lot of shredding. Next up, uh, let's see, we've got... Oh, probably the double shot on the ethereal is probably the best from the boss. Yeah, of course he reflects it. Ethereals are real good at that. Come on. Come on, boss. Take him out. 20 damage. <laughs> that is not even close to 20 damage. It's like a third. Our sniper is unfortunately not in a good position. Our infantry, however, is pretty good. Maybe we should look at what the mechs can do. Um, you know, we can flamethrow both ethereals and all three of these guys, so let's just do that. I know there's probably something right under here. Yeah, there. Might have been out of position. If I had thought about it, I could have positioned to probably do, uh, to flame all... Ah! I still can. There you go. Firing incendiary. Oh, 15 damage. I guess that guy was, uh, shredded, but still, that's pretty awesome. I love flamethrowers, guys. Flamethrowers make everything better. If Therial's got you down, burn them. Good work, Reaper. Next up, uh... Let's use Mark to uh, deal with these guys. This is just too many floaters to let loose, I think. Heavy floaters. Um, if we don't deal with them, they could throw a lot of grenades. So killing slash panicking is, you know, safe. I wouldn't be surprised if there's still one more pod left. I haven't seen any outsiders yet, so I'm kind of thinking maybe over here. Although, there's not a lot of room over there, now that I look. Monkey mark. This guy is still not... He's like the only one not panicked. So let's do a bit of mind fray on him. He's gonna be hard to kill in full cover. But if we could side panic him or something, that would keep things smooth. Of course, we do get a couple shots with Lathan. No need to kill... Well... I mean, it'd be nice to kill the sectoid too, but the uh, heavy floater is more important. Lathan's doing good work as usual. Two shots at 66%. Man, my infantry. They don't fail me very often. We should be able to mine fray this guy. We had no um, snapshot available to hit the sectoid in case you're wondering, so. It's the only option that was useful. So, Darkshade is our last soldier. And, uh... I think we just take the shot. I was thinking about side panicking the uh, sectoid, but it's not going to be a very good shot. 50-50, we missed that anyway, but... As long as the ethereals are panicked... We're in a totally great position. So, I mean, maybe you're expecting a little bit more uh, dangerous encounter there. Turns out we just uh, crushed him. Mind fray? Fail. Nice try, stupid sectoid. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, we didn't quite finish either off, so they regenerate, but... So Reaper could probably kill. Uh, let's work on the guy with lots of HP. 
14 damage, pretty solid. And can you finish him? Maybe? There you go, good work, Reaper. Bagged yourself an ethereal. Take him home. Well, take his bones home, I guess. Put him on the wall. <laughs> Charred remains. Okay. I don't know if I've done it yet. Oh, I was thinking I'd punch him. I've got kinetic... No, I don't have kinetic strike. I was thinking I had kinetic strike and I'd go punch that guy, but... It's, it's not actually an option. What do you guys? We'll just blow this guy's smithereens. See you later, little baby sectoid. Totally destroyed. And let's Failed find out... If Mark can kill, uh... No, only six damage. I was hoping you could kill it. It would make life a little bit easier, but... I'm just playing it safe, but I'm going to keep Lythen kind of back here. I'm still half expecting there to be another pod left, because this has gone really easily so far. And if there's another pod, I would expect it to be over there, Alright, Darkshade. I can't even check. Actually, yeah. You would have a 25% chance to, to side panic him via your will. That's better than the usual zilly. <laughs> zilly. Zero. Nilly nally. Something like that. Um, let's put who's the boss up here. That's affirmative. Just in case we need to fight against that direction. He'll regenerate a little bit again, but we should be able to finish him off, right? Seeing as you were unable to kill him last time... Start with Monkey Mark. There you go, Monkey. I think Monkey Mark needed, uh, needed a level up, so I figured I'd let him get the kill. That was it! So you didn't see all of it, but most of it was just Thin Men and Seekers, to be honest. It was a pretty easy mission. The first group and the last group were the only two that were difficult. I can't say and it wasn't that bad. Operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. Thanks, Shen. So we got another... Um, Master Sergeant Medic. I think this is our second one. I think the first one took Savior. And we're probably going to take Savior again, to be honest. Because I was thinking about it. Medics have some of the lowest aim around, so Opportunist isn't all that good, and Sentinel... I mean, it's a nice synergy, of course, but with low aim, it's still not that great, you know. You're gonna get a level up here, you might get around 80 aim, uh, plus... Six. I usually don't give Medic scopes, so the best I could do is give you a Carbine, you'd have 87% aim, minus all of the, the enemy's basic stuff. Uh, so I don't think... You know, I think Opportunist, you know, it's good, but it's not going to really make you hit every shot. So, do I want more items or better healing? I think better healing is, is really the way to go. And it, you only have 78 anyway, so you only got plus 2 aim per level up. That's pretty brutal. I've seen rookies with basically that high of aim, so. No offense to my medics, it's just, uh, they're not that good. Woohoo, Illyrium! Engineering, buy me some more weapons. So, this is what we want. I need some money. Okay, hold on. What can we sell? We can sell some damaged stuff. See how much money this makes. Look, look at all these power sources. I've just been stockpiling these things, not hardly using them. Like, we don't really need that many mechtoid cores. Probably don't have much more Illyrium than this anyway, but... We're not going to need this many flight computers. Or UFO power sources. Um, I could sell lots of alloys again if I wanted. We actually can sell the Aegis armor now if we wanted because we've basically got enough tier 3 armor. I Let's see, if this is probably right. lots of money. For the aliens, Just double check what I'm selling. We're only selling flight computers and power sources. We've got lots of spares. Yeah, that's where all the money came from. Alright, we're fine. That's more than enough. Money is no issue. 
So, let's get a Plasma Dragon. I like the sound of it. Uses up a lot of our Illyrium. Sniper, Dragon. Um, what's next? We'll need... Let's see, we need... I'll probably build the Reflex Shotgun last, because it seems the weakest. Or, the Reflex Cannon. You know, the, the best Assault uh, Shotgun. Seems to be pretty poor. Um, we need Rifles, we need Carbines. Is there any other types? Gunner, Sniper, Assault. Everybody else use infantry weapons, so... Or uses the rifles. So let's line up um, two plasma carbines. And that'll do for now. We'll save the rifles for last. For, well... Yeah, we'll save the rifles for last. No, we won't. We'll build one rifle and one carbine. Because that's the... That's the responsible way to split up your Illyrium. There you go. Look at me. It's exactly zero. When these finish, we'll get a little bit back. Besides, we'll probably get another large landed in a day or two, so... It won't take too long to max out our weapons. Um... No. If I do decide I want to build another round of Firestorms and EMP Cannons, which I'm not going to, I would rather keep these. But, you know, I'm not going to, but I don't think they're worth 40 bucks. I think it's better to hold on to your Sectopods. Oh, we did get a fail at 60-some percent. Yes, it's, it's it's fair. It happens now and then. Was this our... Yeah, that's our tier 4, actually. So, I don't even know what the par is. Let's see. 69 will. Um, I think par is 80. Because it should have been 75%. And then it's minus 11, which means he's at 69, plus 11 would be 80. So, it goes level 1, 50, level 2, 60, level 2, 70, level 4, 80. Does that make sense? 10, 10 each time? Okay. I'm happy. That makes sense. I like it when things make sense. Contact detected. <laughs> The game is not supposed to literally do what I say. Contact detected. Well, we got lots more Illyrium incoming. Oh, am I gonna do this? We'll do a double transport today. Oh, all right. Give me a minute to set up the troops. <laughs> this thing, these things take so long. It looks fairly easy, but you know there could be spares we can't see. Okay, let's have a quick look at our squad. I think we're taking almost entirely master sergeants, just because uh, I feel like it. And it helps them get some Psy experience, and to be fair, I haven't taken Master Sergeants all that many missions lately. I've been taking a lot of uh, Gunnery Sergeants and Tactical Sergeants on the hard missions, so, you know, it's nice to see some familiar faces. Anyway, to start with, we've got our Jaeger. Um, have we used the Jaeger since we gave it light em up? I don't think so, so it should be nice to see. Shredding ammo plus light em up is pretty good. Overall, pretty good, uh, pretty good mech in my opinion. We're gonna also bring the Guardian, who now has the Savior. So, um, pretty amazing restorative mist. Um, in the mech three, you could pretty easily bring two restorative mists uh, in the Guardian, because I don't know what else I should give her, um, or him or her, um, because you've got Packmaster. Um, you know, flamethrowers are good. Grenade launchers may be better than kinetic strike. I don't really know. Grenade launchers seem so horrible, though. So, such worse, horrible damage. So, and horrible range. So maybe if you just gave them six med kits, or actually, it would be eight altogether, because you get med kit changes it from one to three, and then Packmaster gives you another plus one. So you could have eight restorative mists plus savior plus a flamethrower, and you'd be pretty awesome. Like that's. That sounds pretty good, to be honest. I just have to build one more. Enderman is the only one who's not a, uh, a max rank, and it's because he's kind of my only officer that's... Well, my only captain or higher that's not fatigued. All the uh, colonels and majors are tired, so I thought, well, we'll bring Enderman. You know, gunnery sergeants are still pretty good. We do have one normal medic, because uh, someone's got to wear the Vortex armor. I suppose just to designate you Amazing Vortexer, 
will make you purple, because that seems awesome. We've got Commander, and this is also a first time for him with Bombard. So I decided to give him just grenades, instead of like scopes and arc throwers and stuff. Um, we don't really need to catch anything, so we might as well just toss grenades across the map and see how that works. I've been told Bombard's good, it's just, it takes you so long to get it. Um, took me so long to get it, anyway. We've got Buzz Bunny, a first, one of our, it might be our first time using a Sprinter Rocketeer. I think that'll be fun, so he'll be able to keep up a lot easier. We've got Krasikov, one of our gunners. Uh, Sentinel gunners are always fun, with advanced fire control. And then we've got an in-the-zone scout, because why would you not have an in-the-zone scout? That seems amazing. Um, yeah, resilience and sprinter, it's a pretty good combo. Let's get to it. No sniper this time, and no assault, kind of like usual. One. Sorry, assaults. You're just not as powerful. We're heading to South Africa for this one. You're powerful, just in a different fast. way. The alien so, set down my thinking area. here Security is our top priority. the as always, hyperwave relay did not in the area. did not say this is as dangerous of a mission as the last one. Plus, we're already like 35 or so minutes into the episode, so I'm gonna zip through it again pretty quick. As I said at the beginning of today's episode, you guys have seen this a few times. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if something exciting happens. Other than that, we're just going to rush through it because... How many large landed UFOs am I supposed to do on camera? Come on, game. It's good for Illyrium, it's bad for everyone's patience. Okay, I just want to show you something. Nothing uh, scary, it's just a huge pack of drones. So far, all I've killed is drones and seekers. It's been real bad. Um, but yeah... The commander, now that he's got Bombard, can toss grenades far enough to actually be useful. Look at this. We can hit like four drones. Maybe even five if it hits the guy up in the air. Look at this. I just, I have to do this, right? Heat warheads. It, it actually only killed one, but still. <laughs> At least I could throw the grenade far enough that it did something. It's worth, that's worth noting, right? It's worth noting. Okay, apparently I finished it. I, I sort of zoned out. It was pretty easy. <laughs> Sorry for missing uh, the finale for that. I'm, I meant to show you the final battle. I uh, Most of the squads were just very large groups of Seekers. Uh, we had like eight Seekers in a squad, or sorry, eight drones in a single squad, and then we had eight Mutons in a single squad, and then like another eight Mutons, and then I think there was eight Exalt, but none of that stuff really posed any threat, so I never thought it was like a great time to start the recording because we uh, we managed to fight them off one at a time pretty effectively. I don't think anyone got shot. Well done, Commander. Looks like nobody it's got shot, so it, it was a pretty easy mission. <laughs> um, we have another Master Sergeant Enderman. Oh, and I did decide that Commander's long range gunner is pretty good, and the Rocketeer's javelins are pretty good as well. So, um, or no, this this Rocketeer didn't have Javelin. Sorry, that's a different one. Um, I'm going to find out what I've been giving the other infantry. Vital point for more damage per shot. Rapid fire. I think rapid fire is slightly better. Because then you can take three shots on a turn. Yeah. Resilience is great. I mean... You know, these, these Master Sergeants are often all very good, so we'll just go with Rapid Fire. It should work out just fine. So, yeah, I killed a lot of Mutons and Sectoids. A couple Cyber Discs. There was more than five drones, I just used a rocket to kill half of them once or something. So, um, all in all, as far as a large goes, what was dangerous? I don't know. Nothing. I don't even think there was any outsiders this time. I, that's why I was confused that the mission was over so quickly. I never saw a single outsider, and there's always outsiders. So, um, you know, whatever. It's all good. Um, thank you, aliens, for the Illyrium, basically. What do we build? More guns, of course. So, we've got sniper, dragon, plasma rifle, plasma carbine... Good. No pulse. I thought I like accidentally built some pulse. 
Um, let's build like one more rifle, one more carbine. It's 55. Plasma rifle extra. Well, extra. We're gonna need like to do the final mission because you know normally we only need eight weapons all together, and the final mission will take 12, I believe. So we'll want to have you know a little bit more than usual for weapons when we finally get to that. You know, actually, what I should have done is double check the particle cannon. It might be worth it to uh, start looking at those. Where's my particle cannon? It's probably red. Yeah. 40 Illyrium. Well, we'll work on these next. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six weapons plus two particle cannons. That's enough for my normal squad of eight. Except we're short the assault, but I don't bring an assault very often. We'll need an assault. We'll need a shotgun. Probably one or two more rifles and one more possibly carbine. And then we'll have enough uh, plasma weapons. We're very, very near the end, so uh, it's all good. I do also need, don't let me forget, I need to build up uh, a big batch of Stellarators. They're in here somewhere. And they, ta they take 10 mil or ten Illyrium each, so, you know, we need that. Maybe that's what I should build next. No, you cannot have my meld, never. Contact detected. We can shoot down a small scout, though. One of our uh, our um, ravens in North America, they're getting so many missions, um, he's actually starting to catch up with our Firestorm a little bit, just for shooting down small scouts. Ah, uh, we got a mission. Well, I need a break. Uh, it looks relatively easy, but I know this might not have been the longest episode from your guys' perspective, but I just did two large landed on my end and that took a lot of time and a lot of messing around to finish up so uh i need a break i'm gonna end my session here um maybe the next large landed i'll record the whole thing just just for fun but uh i feel like i feel like today's was a good decision <laughs> anyway thanks for watching folks hope you've enjoyed and have a great day